here. So this is going to be a video doing an unboxing and review of the On uh, USB-C 3-in-1 adapter, which has an HDMI port built into it. Uh, you can get this at Walmart for about $30, $35. I recently purchased it earlier today because I was looking to use my M1 MacBook Pro with my TV screen as a monitor, and the TV has an HDMI input. However, the M1 MacBook Pro only has uh, Thunderbolt or USB-C ports, so you have to get some sort of adapter like this to connect it to your TV screen. Uh, when I went over to Walmart, they had um, this, which is the 3-in-1 adapter. They also have a separate that, uh, adapter that's just USB-C to um, uh, HDMI. That one was about $16. Um, I decided to go with the 3-in-1 adapter because it has a, USB, uh, a regular USB port built into it as well as a USB-C built port port built into it as well. Um, so for the additional like $15, I thought having the additional ports or connectivity would be more useful than just purchasing it for HDMI alone. Um, so what we'll do in this video is we'll first unbox this, show you the general features. The pretty, it, sh it should be pretty simple. And then I'll walk through the steps as far as connecting your M1 MacBook Pro to the TV screen using an HDMI cable. Okay, so here's the on USB-C 3-in-1 adapter purchased at Walmart. 30, 35 bucks, wasn't too expensive. It comes uh, with a four inch cable um, on the end here uh, with the USB-C um, connection there. And then the adapter's at the end here. Um, it shows the specific um, specifications here. Sorry, I already opened it slightly just so that you, it, it would be easier to open on video. Um, but it says it has a USB-C, USB, and then HDMI port built into it. Um, it's lightweight whatever design, um, supports 4K HDMI um, monitors, and then it allows for 100 watt um, power delivery through the actual cable, which is nice if it works. Um, then it provides some other details below, but it's really small print and I can't really read it here. Um, but we'll just open it real quick, show you exactly what's in the box. Um, sorry, the box got like damaged pretty severe trying to open it. Um, so it comes with um, instructions as far as product guide, um, nothing too complex here. Um, shows you connectivity, but it, it's kind of self-explanatory to be honest. And then here's the actual port. Um, so this is the USB-C side, so this is actually will connect to your laptop. And then here has uh, both a USB-C port here as well as a regular USB port there. And then on the edge here, um, it has a HDMI port. Nothing else as far as con like um, uh, nothing else as far as connectivity. Um, it is kind of plastic. It's not metallic design. It's not sleek or any elegant from that standpoint. It's just kind of this cheap plastic. Uh, for 30, 35 bucks, it's not too expensive. Um, what I'll do now is I'm gonna just grab this and we'll set it up with an HDMI cable and my M1 MacBook Pro um, with the TV to show you how it connects there. And then once I do that, I'll probably connect um, either my um, laptop or, or my uh, key, key, uh, my keyboard my wireless keyboard or my um, uh, wireless mouse to these ports to see if this uh, connectivity works as far as having all ports connected at the same time or whether it, it acts singularly where it only you only can use one port um, at a time okay so here's everything you'll need to connect your um, M1 MacBook Pro to your TV screen. So I have a TCL screen, uh, TV, it's probably about 44 inches, but it has three separate HDMI inputs. Uh, so we'll connect to one of those. You'll need your M1 MacBook Pro, HDMI cable, and then some sort of HDMI to USB-C or Thunderbolt um, adapter. This is the three-in-one adapter from Walmart. Um, pretty cheap and uh, affordable. And then you'll definitely need your um, TV remote as well, as well as far as setting everything up. Um, when you pull over your TV um, on the side, at least on this model, there is, let me just get to it, there's ports for the HDMI, and so, sorry, it's just there. Um, so the HDMI ports are along the side here for my um, TV, and so what we'll do is connect to this bottom one here with the HDMI cable. And so you just plug that in here. There, once it's plugged in, um, then you'll set up, connect the other end to the actual HDMI adapter. So like that. And then what you have to do is connect 
the USB-C into your actual laptop. And so it's connected like that. What I'm going to do now is just put the computer to the side and then set up the camera so you can see the TV and the laptop at the same time and we'll set it up on the screen. Okay, so now that we're connected, all you have to do is turn on the TV. Um, this, so this is a TCL model. For this, um, the port I plugged into was the HDMI 3 port. Um, so if I click this immediately, um, the laptop will automatically pull up and it's functioning already. So if you wanted to, um, sorry, yeah, if my mouse is there, it's pretty small. But um, so if you want to work directly on the laptop using this as a monitor, it's already connected and this HDMI port works effectively. Um, so that all works as far as setup, as far as logistics, as far as um, when you set it up initially, what you can do is go to the home screen and then under settings, I believe if you go to um, TV inputs here, and then if I go to HDMI 3, I can rename that. Um, so now I can go all the way to the right and rename it as my computer if I want to leave it that way. So if I go all the way down to computer, hit enter, and then go back. Now when I come to the home screen again, it'll now show my computer to make it easier as far as navigating to that quicker. Um, so once you hit enter there, it'll pull it up on the actual TV screen and you can work that way. Uh, the other things I want to show as far as with the adapter itself, so this is the benefit of the 3-in-1 adapter. Um, I have a Logitech G305 mouse, which is wireless. It comes with this dongle. Um, you can plug this directly into um, this HDMI um, adapter here and use the mouse, um, sorry, it's not on. Uh, Use, use the mouse real time. So if I'm sitting on my couch now, that now I'll be able to use the mouse um, as far as functioning. So that works effectively there. It's just very small. I'll, I'll have to customize the features as far as like the, the size of the mouse, but it's right here on the screen, but it's very, very small. Um, so I might have to, have to increase the mouse cursor size. Um, so that's for mouse, uh, as far as setting up for, with a wireless mouse. And then the other thing I want to show you is I've got a key, uh, Keychron K4 keyboard, which is both wireless and wired. Um, you can actually connect this directly to this USB-C port um, as well um, that's built in. Uh, I have a USB-C adapter uh, because this has a built-in USB port um, here. So I use the USB-C adapter. And now I have everything connected there. And let me just pull up like Word or something like that. Or I'll just pull up Google, I guess. And sorry, I gotta turn it on. It should there. It should be able to input immediately. Sorry. Oh, it's because I'm not on wired. There. So now it's typing immediately. So that's a way to get a wired and wireless version. Um, the Keychron K4 also acts in a wired for format, so when I have it disconnected, I can just type, I just gotta change the setting. Um, I can just type it as well once it registered, so I can type it as well. So that's an easy setup. So you, now I've got my TV as a monitor. Um, I have the Keychron K4 as far as a actual wireless laptop or wireless keyboard. I've got the Logitech G305 mouse, and then everything's connected directly to the TV. I got this because I've got a conference coming up in the next week where I'm going to be sitting around like eight, eight hours a day, uh, re like seeing lectures. So I wanted this as a setup rather than having to set up, set up my, uh, set up my disc all day long. Um, so I hope that video helped. If you have any questions, please post them below. I'll definitely post all the products in this video, um, in the description. Um, and please like, and subscribe. Thanks for, thanks for watching.